In this video, I'm going to find the directional derivative of the scalar field y, which is equal to x squared minus 4y squared at the point 2, 4 in the direction of the vector v, which is equal to i minus 3j. So we have the, that scalar field, the point p, and uh, the vector v. And the first step there is to find the gradient of uh, that scalar field phi. Our phi there is uh, two variables, x and y. So our gradient is the one that has two components, i and j. So in this case, we'll have our grad phi is equals to the partial derivative of phi with respect to xi plus the partial derivative of phi with respect to yj. And then I go on and uh, substitute this phi that we are given and we have the partial derivative of phi with respect to xi plus the partial derivative of phi with respect to yj. And the next step is to evaluate those partial derivatives. Looking at this one here, we are differentiating with respect to x, treating y as if it's a constant. So we we'll obtain xi. And on this part, we'll be differentiating with respect to y, treating x as if it's a constant. And we we'll would uh, obtain minus 8y. So our result there is 2xi minus 8yj. So that's our um, grad phi there. And the next step now is uh, to obtain the directional derivative of phi in the direction of uh, the v. By definition, the directional derivative of phi in the direction of a unity vector is given by the dot product of grad phi and a unit vector u. So that's how we find the directional derivative there. And the unit vector u in the direction of uh, v is uh, given by the vector v divided by the norm of v. For the norm of v, it is the square root of the dot product of v and v. And we are saying our v is the one i minus 3j. So if we substitute that there, we would have uh, i minus 3j divided by the square root of 1 squared minus 3 squared. So we would have 1 divided by square root of 10i minus 3 divided by square root of 10j. So that's the unit vector there in the direction of the given vector v. So what we are having is we are having our grad phi here. We are having our unit vector in the direction of v. And uh, our directional derivative we are saying is this dot product. So we have to compute that dot product there of grad phi and u. So it will be 2xi minus 8yj dot 1 divided by square root of 10i minus 3 divided by square root of 10j. And when we are taking the dot product, we multiply the corresponding elements. So it will be the 2x multiplied by the 1 minus square root of 10. So we'd have 2x divided by square root of 10. Then for the components that we have the j there, it will be minus 8y times minus 3 divided by root 10. And that will give us plus 24y root 10. So our dot product there is 2x divided by root 10 plus 24 divided by root 10. So that's our dot product there. But for our question, we are asked to evaluate that directional derivative at the point 2, 4. So we go on and evaluate the directional derivative that we have just obtained at the point P0, which is equals 2, 4. What we are saying there is x equals to 2, y equals to 4. So we substitute the x equals to 2, y equals to 4 into this directional derivative that we have uh, just obtained the 2x divided by root 10 plus 24y divided by root 10. On the part where we have the 2x, 2 times 2 gives us a 4, then 24 times 4 gives us a 96. So what would have there is 4 divided by root 10 plus 96 divided by root 10. So that's uh, the directional derivative there at the point 2, 4. But we can just simplify that 96 plus 4, it gives us a 100. So we would have 100 divided by root 10. So what we are having there is the directional derivative of phi at the point P0 in the direction of V is 100 divided by square root of 10.